Hey, hey, welcome to my channel. And I've been doing bed rest segments for a while now, and uh, it just so happens that I have another opportunity to do one, except this time I'm really on bed rest again. <laughs> um, so this is my, this is actually for a acid reflex or it's a wedge for certain things. It's diverse. And then I have my added extra pillow, which I'm going to be taking this off for these exercises. Um, yeah, so um, I'm back on bed rest. Uh, I went to go on one of my hikes for the weekend and there was a pre-party which you could sleep over and then carpool to the hike the next day because there wasn't a lot of parking, whatever. So I decided that, yeah, I'd like to save on gas and, you know, not struggle with a parking spot. Um, and so I decided to go to the pre-party. So I went, was having a great time. Um, saw this girl's fantastic art. If anybody is into art, ask me about it. It's awesome. Uh, and proceeded to go down three stairs and put my foot on a floor that got angry at it. And my foot rolled and so now I have three torn ligaments and a break in my bone, femula, femula, I don't know what it's called. So, um, yep, that's what I got. That's what I'm working with. It was so swollen they couldn't, um, well, the guy didn't, I think, I think he didn't know what he was doing really. So they put a splint on it, um, since I'm not supposed to be weight bearing at all yet. And I'm going to my ortho specialist, um, hopefully soon. <laughs> uh, since he is my doctor and is not my doctor at the same time for some reason. So this is my extra light white band, okay, and then we're going to go with my light and my, I think this is medium actually, yeah. So we're going to put those out and usually I have my earbuds in or be gaming or whatever, but since I'm on bed rest, I want to do some cardio and stuff and I, but I don't want to move my leg. And just to be on the safe side, actually, I'm going, because I know me, I will try to go move that foot like a dummy. So just to be safe, we're going to put the splint back on um, after we get cat hair out of it. <laughs> and I'm going to carefully and ever so gingerly this back on and okay so we're just doing this for mobility I don't want to accidentally move it you know me he'll accidentally do it don't mind the noise it's apparently it's pouring out weird okay so now because this is splinted I can actually do my leg lifts and stuff um, without fear of retaliation from my leg. I want to make sure this is in the right spot. I'm really sure. I don't know. I'm new to the splint. This but I've never actually had a splint. I've always had boots. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get started with the arms. And you can do the arms. You can do this. And this also gets rid of this. So, added plus. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this without weights first, just to warm up. And then um, once I'm warmed up, I'm going to stretch and then I'm going to add the weights. If you can't see part of my body because it's cut off, I'm sorry. It was just, uh, I don't know what's going on with the camera. Like, you're lucky I'm even doing able to do this, honestly, because for the first time I actually smashed a phone. I, I can't use the top. Part of my phone, like the one third of it, is just untouchable. Yeah, I 
forehead. Huh. Salute. 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 Who knew saluting was workout? Really? Rotations, then backwards rotations. <sighs> yeah. I'm still kind of sore from the crutches. <laughs> I used to crutches anyway. It's fine. It'll be alright. It'll be alright. Cause I'll fight for my right to party. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, by the way, that's not drugs talking. I'm only on Tylenol. Yay, the South Carolina laws. No matter how much pain you're in, they give you Tylenol. Weird. Ooh, 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 that's a nice stretch. Oh yeah, I feel that from the last workout. So I'm gonna go forward. And if you want to, you could, you could have put your leg over the side. I'm actually supposed to keep my leg raised, so I'm not gonna do that because I don't want the swelling to go back down there. <laughs> trash can. Yes, I can. The crowd goes wild. <laughs> I entertain myself so much. <laughs> okay. It's nice. It's warmed up. I'm going to go with the cha-cha. The cha-cha hurrah. Okay. My arms are kind of tired from the crutches, so I'm actually going to do something else. I didn't realize I'd be still tired. And I haven't used them for a while. Whatever. All right, so that's arms, arms sideways. You can go up, you can go down, and all around the town. I'm gonna do the light one because I have no idea if I'm supposed to be doing this. I'm hoping the splint is enough because I know with a boot I can do this. Okay. Yeah, should have. Should have done this one first. I mean, it doesn't feel like I can feel anything. Okay, so. We're on bed rest. We're doing leg lifts. By the way, this is actually, yeah, the splint. I can't really feel anything. If I go slow enough, I can't feel it. I don't want to yank on it. Yeah, you know, which makes sense. Okay, now let's see if I could do the other leg. I'm gonna trip. You won't know until you try. And if you are on bed rest, you don't have to keep getting bigger. You can still work out, okay? This is proof. You can still freaking work out. If, if your whole leg is broken all the way up to here, do your core and your arms. I mean, if your arm or you have broken ribs or something, do your legs. You know, you can always do something. Now, if, you, if this leg's broken and you busted ribs and you tore this arm up, guess what? You have a whole nother side to work with. You do this leg and this arm. <laughs> okay, so keep working out. I believe in you. As long as I don't let that band go, or I should be fine. Some leg lifts. Ooh, I've been lacking on my leg lifts. I can feel it. Yeah, I need to do these way more often. I hold it in place and I keep going and 
and then I'm actually gonna do separation now. Well, that's what I call it. I don't know what it's really called. <laughs> Just literally put them together, separate them together, separate. And I bounce a little bit with it. Always works for me. Whew. All right. So I could move this up. And this could be another workout. Um, possibly. Let's see if it works. Um, yeah, hurt myself there, so kind of want to go around that. Okay. Maybe I can do bridges, maybe, possibly. Can I? I don't know. It's worth a try without using this leg, of course. Wouldn't want to do that. Okay, my sheets are really slippery. I can't do it. I go, my foot just keeps going. Wait, let's see if I can dig my toes in. Okay, I can kind of, maybe a little, okay. It's, it's lift, it's lift. It counts, totally counts. Okay, I don't feel like it's enough lift. Let's just work on abs. Yes, this is my knitting bag, and yes, I have a bunch of knitting. I might as well get caught up on it if I'm going to be in bed. Okay. Oh, man. Ow. Okay. So, I'm trying to suck my stomach in because I know it's like one of my worst spots right now just because I lost so much weight and the way it sits is weird now. Um... I'm gonna try to lift this leg without actually being on it. Should I use the wedge? <laughs> then we can go side to side. Reach, 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 reach. Okay. Keep going. Okay, I have to lay my leg actually flat because it's starting to bother now. But it doesn't matter if you're bothered. Keep going. And I've been using, in between my um, sets, I've been using the vacuum technique, which is I suck it in. You just like super suck it in and then contract it that way, and then like let go, and then suck it in, let go, suck it in, let go. And that's actually its own workout, believe it or not. I do that when I'm like sitting on a bus or sitting in a chair or whatever. Okay. <laughs> My leg wants to lift. So I figure I might as well hold it up in the air. Okay, and that's some workouts. Also, you have while you're laying down, you have the opportunity to do the laying down workouts, which sort of is annoying. Sort of. and try to go all the way down, and then up, stand up, go all the way down. Like, what is going on over here? All right, they're arguing with me, it's fine. And remember what I said, pushing is working your chest, and if you're pulling, you're pulling your back. So it's working out your back. the air. Straight up. It was really pouring out. Okay, so I forgot what I was doing. 
Let's share that. Oh yeah. Um, so this, if you're imagining this as push-ups, then the closer these are, the better. Um, and then it works out that part of the back part of your arm and bless your chest. So I can go like this even, and then meet them up here and then separate, meet, separate, meet. But you can also just go like this, like it's one big handle. Also, you can pull them over your head, which for that, I'm gonna have to move that pillow. I have a lot of pillows. <laughs> See if I can. Oh, that's the headboard. Okay, I'm gonna try to scooch so you guys can get the full value of this. Okay, so normally my hands would be straight, like my arms would be straight, but they don't have to be, they can be bent. I'm just gonna do it like I'm beating some drums or something. Not you can really feel because the gravity is just insane. Gravity can work as your weights, man. Okay, that's gonna be the end of this video because honestly, my my arms are very very tired from. I had to go up three flights of stairs by myself like three times. So, um, I think my roommate helped me once. I'm actually pretty tired and didn't realize it. Um, so I'm gonna get my little bed rest thing going. I'm gonna keep going with my bands. Ow, I shouldn't have slapped my knee. You can do your one one more little tip. You can do your clamshells while you're on this type of bed rest. Just be careful of where you put your foot. <laughs> Just put it somewhere near the other foot. Must have worked out a lot of booty muscles because I really feel it. I think hop, hopping up those stairs or something. So you can do still do clamshells. You can still do side leg lifts. Oh yeah. I can still do backward leg lifts if I can lay on my stomach and do it backwards. Um, so that type of stuff, you're good to go. And that is how you do a uh, good and proper workout while you're on bed rest. No matter what those damn doctors say, don't let yourself get all big, okay? I did it, it's not fun. You don't have to eat what people give you. Always remember, throw it on the floor. If I threw some, or if somebody brought me a bag of Oreos or something, I could throw it on the floor and I won't be able to get it. It's not like yeah, I can get up and get it. So if, as long as I keep throwing it on the floor and keep saying, no, I want a salad. No, I want, you know, a healthy meal. No, I want, I want healthy, healthy, healthy. And I keep throwing those unhealthy things on the floor. Guess what's going to happen? They're going to get sick of it and they're going to bring me something healthy. Cause they're not going to want to keep cleaning that up. Okay. So remember what I said, subscribe, at least like this video because this video is going to help someone somewhere out there. I know it is. All right. Keep going. Work out no matter what. Better us for sissy. <laughs> All right. So, gamer girl Graham. <laughs> uh, I will see you later. My cat looks like you. Oh, well, maybe he wants to play with somebody. All right. Well, I ain't going to be me.